My name is George Ramswater, I work at Chagask and I'm a dairy specialist. Uh, we had a problem with dairy herd fertility in production a few years ago, back about 15 years ago we had a problem, and the problem had to do with while milk production was on the rise, fertility was on the decline. So any gains that we were seeing in terms of milk yield and the profits generated from it was being counterbalanced by higher uh, replacement rate and the costs associated with it. As a result of that then, uh, the EBI was introduced, an index that combined both milk and fertility traits in it, genetic traits. And over the last number of years, the rate of gain has been enormous. We're averaging around 10 euro increase in, in uh, calf EBI per year. The calves born, the heifer calves born last year would have been around 160 EBI. And the net economic gain to the Irish dairy industry is cumulative of 800 million today. So the two main uh, players in the business, w in, in the initial stages anyway, were Chagas and ICBF, the Irish Cattle Breeding Federation. And they developed a model which showed the benefit to correcting the fertility or infertility problems that was there. Uh, other players uh, came aboard after over a number of years. We brought in the likes of the Farmer's Journal to publicise what we were trying to do and to communicate our messages. We brought in the breeding companies and they've been great in the last number of years in selecting the best high genetic birds, uh, bulls, uh, for the industry. Hello, my name is Nedda Lachlan. I'm Chagas Advisor in, in, based in Kildare. EBI is now a very important part of, of all discussions that we have on farms, part of our discussion group programme. The, the biggest stumble block to EBI when it was first introduced was it was asking farmers to take a leap of faith and when some farmers, the early adopters, took it on and they saw the benefit from it, they were very quick to tell their other, far other farmers about it, uh, which made selling, the whole idea of selling EBI an awful lot easier. My name is Larry Hannan. I'm farming in Ballytor in C County Kildare in Ireland. Um, I'm married to Karen. We have three, three children, Lucy, Sally and Amy. Um, it's a dairy farm here. Um, has grown um, through the abolition of milk quota. Um, we have followed the EBI route here for the last 15 years. Um, we are a grass-based liquid milk production farm. Uh, we're milking 160 cows at the moment on the farm. The original challenge on this farm was that we had a very spread out calving pattern. So we were calving from, from um, the end of July, beginning of August, and it ran through until May. And uh, the work was never done. There was cows calving, there was calves on, on the ground, there was heat detection to be done, there was AI, you know, and you had all the problems associated with that. And those, those high, high genetic merit cows were, were you know, they were, they were a, there was a lot of management on them. And I just wanted to create a simpler system, while at the same time keeping focus on milk output and solids production um, for, for the liquid milk business that I'm involved in. I'm involved in the Ballytour discussion group. Um, we're set up about 15 years. It's made up of dairy farmers in the area. There's a, quite a broad dynamic within the group. It's not all it's not all liquid milk or spring milk farmers, so there's a combination of both. So I feel that we get the benefit of both views on any topic we're discussing, whether it be grass or breeding, you know, and all all ties in together. So it's probably a major part of, of the development of the EBI within my farm gate and within our group was the group structure and the support from Chagas through that. Well it has delivered a more efficient, uh, well run easier managed um, system that um, at times I can step away from. Um, it, has, it has meant that I have a six month period now in the summertime that I don't calve any cow, um, which leaves the system very easy to manage. It meant um, sheds are empty, calves are gone, uh, calf rearing has become a lot simpler. Bunches are much, much more closely uh, grown together, so they're easier managed. So overall, it has worked very well on my farm and um, naturally enough profitability is a key driver of that has, has shown to be working out well as well for me on the farm.